Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of the Bald Chef of Bergamo. We got a different view, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, but we had to move. But now we're in the States. We can still have the great food, the great recipes. Good Eats Hot Treats. Bald Chef of Bergamo is going to present you today Chicago-style pizza. Yes. Let's, uh, let's make a little pizza. It's Sunday. Sunday was Sunday night was always pizza night when my dad would make his dough, my mom would make her uh, her pasta sauce, and then we'd we'd have pizza on Sunday night. So let's start our own little tradition, show how to make some Chicago style pizza. Let's start with the dough. So let's start making the dough for the Chicago pizza. We're gonna have three and three quarter cups of flour. All purpose flour is fine. And I'm going to add a half a cup of semolina flour. Um, I guess you can use cornmeal, but I like the semolina flour. Quarter cup of melted butter and a quarter cup of olive oil. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Two, two teaspoons of sugar. One packet of active yeast. And one to third cups of warm water. I'll start with getting the water into my KitchenAid pot, get that yeast activated, and then start adding the rest of the ingredients. As you can see, you can tell the difference between the regular flour and the semolina flour. That's wheat based. Um, yeah, that's what they use for making uh, true pasta in Italy. But again, you can use cornmeal. Let me start getting the, the yeast in there and activated in the, um, in the KitchenAid and and then start to mix this up until we get the right consistency. So I'm going to add the olive oil. Now that I've got that yeast activated. And Mickey's calling for me, so let me get my melted butter in there. I'll be there in a second, Michelangelo. Arriva subito. Let me get this in there, and then I'll slowly add the flour. And we'll get this mixing. So I've got the flour in. I'm going to put this in place, latch this on, and then start to mix this. Get the dough mixing, take this a couple minutes, and then it should pull away nicely. So, give this a few minutes to, to mix up, and you'll know you've added the right amount of water, flour, ingredients, etc. if it pulls away nicely from the side. Let's give this a few minutes. As you can see, it's working up nicely, it's starting to pull more and more away from the sides. Give it another minute or so, and this will be perfect. Yeah, these kitchen aids are wonderful. You can use different types of things. You can even use your hands. Typically, as you've seen in my previous recipes, I do everything with a little, little handle, but I wanted to show you that you can use these nice pieces of equipment, keep all the work out of your, uh, you know, save the shoulder, save the arms. And just do it the easy way with uh, with this kitchen aid. So this is done. Haven't really touched it at all. Pulled everything away from the sides. Let's open this up. And as you can see, it's probably just going to fall right off the hook. Almost no effort. This means it's perfect and ready to be uh, one quick knead and then thrown in the, back in this container to, let's say, rise for an hour and a half. Let me get this out, situated and then we'll get it ready to uh, set aside to rise. So I've taken the, the dough out, kind of formed it into a ball, put a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil in there to coat the sides. Again, I just need to get this so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna throw this dough back into this container here, and then I'm gonna cover it and set it aside for, I'd say two hours. You want it to double on side, but size, but I got a couple hours before I need to get this thing going. So I'm just gonna set it aside for a couple hours and get a nice good rise on it. So the dough is just about ready. In fact, it's over ready, but it'll be all right. I got our sauce cooking here, and I've shown you how to make that on, uh, on a previous recipe. And I've just taken some Italian sausage with fennel, taken it out of the skin. That's as much as I'm going to cook it, because it'll cook fine in the, it'll cook very well in the, in the, um, in the, pot, in the pizza pie itself. And then I threw in a, an onion and just let that uh, sweat a little bit. And then we'll we'll start laying out the uh, the dough here. Place it on the uh, the iron skillet, cast iron skillet. Let me get this off the off the heat, and then we'll we're good to go from there. 
So I've got sprinkle, I sprinkled a little flour on top of the dough. The dough is ready to come over. Got my surface plated out here with a little bit of um, flour. I've got my, my roller pin here. And I've got my cast iron skillet that I put a tablespoon of olive oil in and I've coated the sides. So, like with all pizzas, we're going to take the dough out, put it on here, roll it out nice and thin. We're going to have extra dough and that's fine because then we'll just set it aside and just have a standard pizza, maybe a little garlic pizza. We'll see what's left over from, uh, from our dough. Let me get this rolled out and we'll go from there. So I've got the dough rolled out and I placed it in the skillet, kind of like a, pie, uh, kind of like a, a pie. And I'm going to cut the edges off the side and then I'll start layering in the cheese. I'll show you how to do that. Um, let me get the sides trimmed down. A little. Well, actually, let's put the cheese on first, then we'll trim the sides up. So I start with a layer of provolone slices. This is just regular standard provolone, so sweet provolone, non epicante, no, it's not the, not the sharp provolone. Then I throw in some shredded mozzarella, and then I throw in the meat. So I'm going to get the rest of this coated, throw the rest of the meat in, or at least a little portion of the meat. Throw some tomato sauce in, then I'll do a little bit more cheese, and um, then some more meat, and then another layer of the sauce. And then I'll trim around the sides here. So. Um, you know, let's get this all the way loaded up. By the way, if you are lactose intolerant, you don't like cheese, this is not the type of pizza for you. Let me get these ingredients topped. Obviously, you can put peppers on here. You can put pepperoni. You can put whatever, salami picante. You can put whatever you want on your pizza. We just decided we're going to go with cheese, onions, and sausage. Okay, so I've got everything added. I've uh, sprinkled on some grated Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. And I've doused, painted, brushed on some olive oil on the crust there. Now I'm going to put it into the oven at 425 for about 35 minutes. Let's take a look at it when it comes out. And there you have it. Plate it out. Cut away. Look at, look at the layers of cheese and meat. Nice crusty dough. It's well cooked. And I let it rest a little bit so it wouldn't be uh, drooping all over the place and liquidy. It's a great recipe. Nice little fun treat to make at home on a Sunday night. Chicago-style pizza. Bald chef of Bergamo. Good eats, hot treats.